Hey, I'm first hey, I'm Pacific. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, first things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you guys are having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days, always. I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy. Virgo, I wanted to call you Libra. Okay, so you could be connecting to a Libra. You could have Libra highly aspected. Anybody sending any negative energy in this reading, maybe you could turn this on that thousand fold. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest light, light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. I can Michael, Holy Spirit. Please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for the month of June in regards to Virgo? What is Virgo need to know for this month? Please and thank you. What is Virgo need to know? Okay, it's time that you are in control. This is also you knowing who's in control. You see all these big eyes above you? So this is like not only you being able to use your spiritual eyes to see what's going on, but you knowing that God is overseeing it all. It's time that you seek the truth. You could be connecting to a Scorpio. Okay, or there's some type of truth and clarity that's coming towards you, or you're being led to remove the veil. Okay, you could be seeing past people's like mask or their first layer of themselves. This is also you taking the mask off, okay, or you breaking through in regards to some type of dark energy. There could have also been a lot of people in your energy that were like in shadow, in their shadow self, but this isn't you. Seven is significant as well. Okay, someone could be born on the 7th or on the 8th. 87, 78 is significant. July or August, your month, okay? This is also Leo energy. You could also be connecting to another Virgo, but this is also God letting you know that he's in control, okay? It's important for you when you seek God, it's like you're seeking the truth. You're seeking clarity, okay? This is also going to push you to be able to take lead in regards to your life and bring in things in regards to a state of balance, harmony. This is also you balancing your mind, body, and soul or creating balance in regards to work, home life, love life. Okay, I'm seeing this here too as well. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? Okay, yeah, there is protection that's over your life at this time. Yeah, and this is because you're embracing a new life. You could also be coming into union with someone where you're supposed to create a new life. Okay, like a Akashic record energy. You could be coming in contact with like your masculine or your feminine. Yeah, there's some type of boundaries that's needed at this time. Where to have this new life, you're going to have to put a boundary in, in regards to you know, having the courage to, to stand on it, laying down law and standing, meaning what you say and saying what you mean. Yeah, definitely doing the shadow work or be mindful of people that are working out of their shadow work at this time. Yeah, it's time to spiritually cleanse your energy. And this is what's going to help you grow and evolve or hit the next level that you're trying to reach. Because somebody in your energy is not a soulmate. This is the truth. This is also some type of truth and clarity that you could be receiving in regards to this person. Okay, and this is to make you grow. Someone is a karmic energy or karmic soulmate. The soulmate is in the reverse. Okay, yeah, this could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you could be connecting to. You could be you could be needing to go check out the Taurus reading as well. You could have Taurus in your energy or Taurus. Just you could be connecting to a Taurus. Okay. I'm trying to see. Okay, yeah. Move for my next deck. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? 43 could be significant. The number seven, the number 11, the number two, February, July, January, August, and April could be significant. 49, 94, 26, 62, 1, 43, 34, 11. Someone could be born on these dates of any month or someone could have a child. You could have a child these ages. Okay, what else does... Virgo needs to know. Okay, yeah, don't focus too much on money. It's time that you focus on spirit. Yeah, that's where love is at. Okay, focusing on the divine. Ace of Cups energy is coming through. So this is new love, divine love that's meant to come in. Yeah, you're finally beginning to realize who you are. I'm seeing here as well. Yeah, strength is most definitely required at this time. Leo energy, this is you becoming that prayer warrior. And there's a sacrifice that's needed. So it's like if you want true love, Okay, true fulfilling energy, that love of a lifetime. You're just going to have to let something go. And it has to do with a karmic soulmate that you could be holding on to at this time. Or there's boundaries that's needed with a karmic soulmate that's working in their, their, their shadow side or that wants you to work out of your shadow side. 
which keeps you away from like your divine blessings. It's like you have to heal. Father God is not about to bless a mess. He's not about to bring in someone so you can hurt them. Okay, someone that has been working on themselves or healing. He's not about to do that. Okay, he's, he's not going to do that. If you want to meet somebody that's healed or that has worked on themselves, that love will be real. That's the same thing that you're going to have to do in regards to yourself. You're going to have to put in that same work in regards to yourself to have this, okay? Because this is the end all be all in regards to love. The two of cups and the ten of cups is, is happily ever after. That's that true soulmate energy. Right now, you could be connecting to a Taurus. Okay, you could have this in your birth chart. You could be connecting to one. And this is not someone that's aligned with you at all. This is an unparalleled love. It's unrequited. Or this is someone that is like completely the opposite of you. Okay, Aries is also in your energy too. Okay, yeah, you could have clear vision about an Aries. Or there's an Aries that has clear vision in regards to you. Yeah, no matter what happens outside of you, please know that you are safe. You could also be connecting to a Pisces. And you could have this in your birth chart. Okay, there's also a Pisces that's trying to mirror your energy. I'm seeing this here too. Where are we at? Okay, six minutes. Okay, after this, we'll jump to the tarot. Anything else that they need to know? Okay, someone's wearing a mask in your energy. You could be marinating on, you know, what's going on here. Okay, somebody here knows, like, there's a lot of people that's going on or that's talking about this. Okay, it's in the paper. Everyone knows about it. Something is talking about this. Yeah, there's someone in your energy that is acting like, you know, they admire you or you're coming in contact with someone that admires you. Okay, there there is nothing to fear. Somebody could be also putting fear in your energy. And this is someone that is mean. They have a blocked heart chakra. They're blocking God in their life. Who's this? They admire you. There is someone in your energy that admires you. Oh, these came out in the reverse. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, what? Clarify again what they admire you. This could be someone that's giving you fake love. Yeah, it's not worth it. Whoever this is, it's, it's like they give you fake love and God is about to expose this with the yellow card. Okay, you could have a very bright aura, which is another reason why someone wants to connect with you. Yeah, this is not a highly spiritual person at all. Somebody is highly demented, highly dark, highly demonic, okay? And it's time to surrender to the truth. So you could be admiring somebody or you could be acting like somebody. Somebody could be in your energy like saying that they are proud of you and stuff. It's bullshit. This is someone that's not telling the truth at all. They're lying. They're lying to try to show faith. Yeah, they're also trying to make you doubt yourself whether or not you can move forward or find better or do better. But again, you have nothing to fear. It's time that you balance out and get in tune with your confidence, your self-esteem. It's time that you balance out your major solar plexus energy. I'm seeing this here too. Okay. Anything else that they need to know? Virgo. Okay, there's a Capricorn in your energy that could be trying to come through. Okay. This is someone here that could be acting like they don't lack maturity, acting like they're serious about you. Or they could be very serious, but this is someone that has a plan on trying to seduce you with dark love. Somebody's being utilized by the devil. There's also a Sagittarius in your energy that could be wanting you to be vulnerable with them. Okay, you could be vulnerable with the Sagittarius at this time. Speaking about you, Virgo. But there most definitely is some type of heartbreak energy that's coming in, okay? And this is to put you in deep thought, okay? There's a Scorpio, a Gemini, and a Taurus that's in your energy as well, okay? I'm seeing this here too, Scorpio, Gemini, and Taurus. So you have a lot of people that's in your energy, okay? Yeah, you also have three loyalty is here. So you're about to come in contact with someone that's loyal if you embody the same loyal energy or know what you are being loyal towards at this time. This is also like a breath of fresh fresh air coming in. So you could be needing a newer energy. Okay, I'm seeing this here too. Yeah, and there's people that feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Or there's energy that wants you to miss out on this blessing, this opportunity. With someone that is like the magnetic attraction is real, is there, is authentic. Yeah, this is energies that want to have the best of both worlds. They want to have you on the, like have you and then have people on the side too. Okay, spirit is saying you need to love yourself first and put yourself first because that's not what God wants for you. God will never put you in a situation where someone has, has options or like not saying that they can't have options. Like you could be with someone that is highly sought after, but when someone is with you, they're with you. They're going to choose you and you choose them. God is not about to put you with somebody that has you and that's confused about you because they're dealing with Sarah, Lucy, Mary, okay, or they're dealing with John, they're dealing with Jacob, they're dealing with Paul, like, that's not what's about to happen, okay, spirit is saying love yourself first, you can most definitely be dealing with a karmic cancer, cancer's in the reverse, okay, 
or you choosing yourself is going to bring a lot of distorted energy to a lot of people that want to use me and abuse you. It's going to put them in some type of sadness energy. So spirit is saying, make a choice or, you know, you have choices here. Okay. Anything else they need to know before we jump to the tarot, Holy Spirit, Virgo? Ooh. Okay, yeah, better days, okay, are in the reverse. Better days are coming in the reverse. So somebody here wants you to have hard trying days that are coming, that are on the, ooh, that are on the way. Yeah, Spirit, is, Spirit wants you to learn the lesson. Hold on, y'all. My <laughs> Spirit wants you to learn the lesson and drop somebody that wants to betray you, okay? This is also someone that doesn't want you to have better days. So somebody here is negatively trying to project onto you, okay? Or this is someone that, you know, is going going through bad days, bad karma, okay? Literally, spirits like learn the lesson though, okay? But if you don't learn the lesson, better days won't come. But I see here, it's time that you step into this empress energy and you are this empress. You don't need to, you know, chase anything. You're supposed to attract. Okay, or someone here knows you're the empress, so they feel like you should be compassionate, okay, or you should feel for them, or you should be in a more loving energy, but the empress makes boss moves, like the empress has a balance with her emotions, that ain't somebody that's a sap, or that ain't somebody that's easy or easily swayed, or that's not somebody that has weak boundaries, that's not no fucking empress, like somebody here don't get, it's not a doormat, like that's not an empress, like I'm just being for real, and the empress damn sure ain't somebody that gets juggled. Okay, sometimes the empress pops out because you could be a wife or you could have children, but that don't mean you divine. Okay, it just depends on the energy that comes through. But most definitely, Virgo, this is your energy that's coming in at this time. But you could be like, spirits, like don't chase something. Let things come towards you. But have compassion, but don't be boo-boo the fool. Okay, for someone who wants to betray you. It's time to drop this person that wants to betray you. You could be needing to take responsibility or there's someone that just needs to take responsibility. But this has to do with you knowing your worth. You claiming your crown and you not settling for less or anything that doesn't align with you and your highest good. Spirit's like it's time to move on from that. There's someone that's trying to attack you mentally. You could be experiencing headaches or be feeling more drained or tired. Aquarius energy, somebody that wants to affect your mental health. Or they want to affect you mentally or you're like... Your dream state, your intuition, they don't want you to be able to see things clearly for exactly what's happening. Okay, so what's going on here? What's going on here for Virgo? I'm so shocked when I, what's going on here for Virgo? You could be starting a new project and different people could be collaborating with you or watching, you know, what you're doing at work. Okay, I'm seeing this here too. Be mindful of someone that wants to come in and have some type of stronghold on you, or they could be wanting to take or hold, hoard money from you, take, you know, keep money from you, keep some type of resources from you. Okay, you're extremely empathic, intuitive, or this is all about you listening to your intuition. The high priestess could also be a mistress. So somebody here could have been treating you as a mistress or had you as a mistress in this situation. Pisces energy is here. Okay, this is also you having hidden knowledge or you knowing the truth. Okay, this could be in regards to an air sign. Or someone that could be militant. You could be dealing with someone that's very militant or very direct. Or they could be the type of person that is trying to come across as truthful or honest. Or someone that you could trust in. But God is exposing things to you. What's going on here? Okay. Yeah, you have the Knight of Swords. Somebody here is angry or they want to come rushing towards you because they know that you could be healing or deeply reflecting over different things at this time with the Four of Swords. You can most definitely be healing from something or praying more. You could also be resting throughout your day. Okay, with the four of swords, like in the day you're resting more. But somebody most definitely is sending you mental attack. Even something could be going on with your stomach or your digestive system too. Like constipation, something could be going on. Like you could be feeling clogged or needing to detox. What's the high priestess? Yeah, the, the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Intuitively, you know that somebody is codependent. Needy, okay? They can't take care of themselves. This could be an earth sign or this is you. Okay, with the nine of pentacles, either somebody is picking up on your energy, like they know that you're codependent and needy, or you could be realizing that this is someone's energy. They can't take care of themselves. They are a leech energy and anchor. They will weigh you down. 
Okay, somebody here is like they they didn't they are not resourceful. There's no growing positive energy around this person at all. They don't have a pot to piss in from themselves. Somebody here also uses other people's things to try to show off or to try to make it appear like they have a certain type of lifestyle or way of being, because this could be someone that wants to live off your coattail. What's the nine of pentacles? The king of cups. This is someone that's very sneaky and they're all about your stability, what you could do for them, Virgo. Okay, somebody here feels like with you, they can live some type of abundant or blessed lifestyle. Okay, King of Cups energy. This could be an Aquarius or this could be a water sign that's in this energy that doesn't know how to take care of themselves at all. That wants you to take care of them. This could be a grown man or woman. I'm just being for real. With the Seven of Swords, somebody is malicious. They have ill intentions. They wear a false mask. They also lie about how they feel in regards to love. They lie. They lie. They will say whatever. The King of Cups is a charmer, a sweet talker. We go suave. They know how to sweet talk you and talk you out your pants. They also know how to connect with you on a deep level. That's the King of Cups. They mess with your emotions. This is also someone that could be unstable. There's no land here in sight. So somebody here, there, yeah. They could appear as someone who's very grounded, but either somebody has a new child on the way to or they could be trying to get you pregnant. This is also the tie into your money. Okay. Be mindful of, like, the, the person that has a lot of time on their hands, okay? Because any type of real boss don't have a lot of time, they get into the money, they work it. Okay, so anybody that has a lot of time and just be playing in your face or just give you all the time, be mindful of those type of energies. Those are broke people. Those are leech, or leech energy. What's the seven of swords? Somebody is very sneaky. And this is a, this is, this ain't real love. The ace of cups in the reverse. There's no real love here. This is unrequited love, a lack of love, a lack of balance. A lack of harmony. This ain't a soulmate at all. This ain't no soulmate at all. Somebody is trying to sabotage you, set you up, and steal from you. And they could have done it before. They're trying to get away with it and do it again. Okay, yeah, somebody here, you you are going to be, you view this as being very successful. Or you want success with this individual or with the six of wands. Somebody here could be targeting you because you could be in the public eye or very resourceful. You could be admired or inspiration or well-known. Okay, so this is someone that's targeting you. What's the King of Cups? This could be an air sign. Okay. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody here has been literally like communicating with you, sending you messages, or wanting you to plant a seed with them, wanting you to build with them. But Spirit is saying it's time to block this out. This could be a child's father, your child's mother, or someone here who's trying to come in and lay it down emotionally very thick. But this is also someone that keeps their heart very close to, to self. Spirit is saying use your discernment in regards to walking away from this. Okay, stay on your ground. You are also protected in regards to blocking out this communication or blocking out whatever this person is offering you. But you need to use your discernment and make better by her decisions. This is also like you being in a very ruthless, logical, smart, intelligent energy. So something doesn't align with you. Something is an ace of cups and in reverse. That's unrequited love. That's abuse. That's cheating. That's scandal. That's lack of family unit. That's lack of love. That's lack of growth. That's lack of emotional fulfilling energy. This is not harmonious energy at all. Okay. Yeah, because somebody's offering you the bare minimum with the Page of Cups. They're not offering you nothing, and you're not going to be happy with this with the Four of Cups. You're going to feel like you're getting played, okay, literally. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Somebody here is really stressed out because they see you as a jackpot energy. The Ten of Pentacles, or they see that you could turn their life because they feel like you could take care of them. With the Ace of Wands, somebody here also could be trying to work on their looks, or their, you know, they could be wanting you to pay for some type of work to be done on themselves, like on them. Or you could be paying for work to be done, I'm seeing here too. Okay. This is also someone that sees that you could live, they could live a very affluent lifestyle with you, which is why they want some type of new beginning. They could also be using sex or intimacy with the ace of wands. They could have like good intimacy. They could be using this. The spirit is saying, move on, move forward, the six of swords, move away from move towards calmer energy. Okay. This is also what could be coming towards you, a new beginning if you move forward. A very blessed and abundant one, too. The spirit's not about to bless a mess. They're not, the spirit's not about to bless you with the Ten of Pentacles. That's why it didn't pop out with this King of Cups in your energy. It ain't happening. It's showing itself, but that's not what God is about to do. You could be weeping and praying for blessings all you can want, Virgo, okay? But it ain't going to come in unless you get rid of this. Spirit's not about to bless you. Father God is not about to bless you when you ain't do the work to get the blessing. 19 and 19 on the timer. It don't work that way. You got to learn the life lesson. You got to prove to God that you're actually not trying to play God, okay, or manipulate God. And also, you're actually moving away from the what doesn't align with you. 
Don't be like, well, why is this person getting blessed? They let go of something that could have been very difficult or they moved away from something that was very difficult for them, which is why they have blessings over their life at this time. They made that tough decision that you could be having a hard time doing. So right now it's not about judging others or pointing outward, but it's a, you got three fingers pointing back at you as you pointing outward. It's time that you focus on self because that's the only way you're going to receive the blessings that you keep feeling like are coming intuitively you feel like something big is coming in but you're not seeing it or you're not you know receiving the promotion or the raise or this new opportunity or the house or the car whatever it is the family the connection it's because you are not letting go of what father god told you to let go of until you listen to father god you ain't gonna receive the blessing okay and i'm just a messenger <laughs> i'm just a messenger but whoever this is that you're trying to take care of or, or make work, make work or whatever, they are a lesson in your life. The higher fine. They are a lesson. This is a life lesson that spirit wants you to learn. Okay. It is a life lesson. Time to close out the life lesson, learn the lesson, and accept what God has for you. Accept God's plan over your life. But it doesn't have this person in it. It's not. I don't care if you were married to this person. You had children with this person. You could have wanted. You could have been with this person for years on end. Spirit's not about to, it will be the same cycle repeating over and over. And each time it repeats, it's harder, okay, to close out. So I'm just letting you know that too. Okay, yeah, 333 is here. It's time that you balance out your mind, body, and soul. A decision needs to be made because someone's under judgment by God, okay? And you are trying to work with somebody. It's like, number one, you're trying to play God. And number two, like you're trying to play God in someone's life. You can't do that. And number two, you cannot play the almighty, all-knowing Father God. You cannot be like, Father God, I'm thinking about changing, or I want to change, you know, or I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it on Monday, but then you don't do it. Father God knows your heart, and he knows when you're lying, or you're manipulating, or you're trying to, you know, sneak or get over. He's not about to bless that. You're taking shortcuts, too. That's the devil energy. Like, what is going on? Somebody got caught here. It's a, it could be a Capricorn. This could be someone that has BDE. The letter J could be significant. First, middle, or last initial. Yours or theirs. Yeah, clarity is coming towards you. Capricorn, there's some type of, you know, tables that are turning with a Capricorn. This could be your old love or something's going on with a Capricorn. You could have this in your birth chart. Yeah, somebody's child's mother or child's father is the problem. They're trying to stop somebody. This could be you or this could be your child's mother, your child's father, whoever this is. is trying to stop somebody from experiencing new love, okay? Because new love is meant to come in. For someone here, it's with a Scorpio. Okay, you also have here something could be happening on Tuesday with a Gemini. Okay, so for someone here, you could be falling in love with a Scorpio or a Gemini, and this is true love and marriage. And this is someone that you're gonna you're gonna be everything to this person, or they're gonna be everything to you. Okay, literally, this is what's meant to come in. But you have this devil energy. This could be a cancer or someone that's in your energy right now. Yeah, that you're on different pages with that wants you to run after them and chase after them. Okay, they want you to be in some type of cycle. Somebody was also doing magic on you and it backfired. It's time that you stay away from this person. Okay, yeah, you also have for today. Spirit is saying start today. Don't start tomorrow. Don't start today. Right now, today. Okay, because right now it's like you're letting the past hold you back. And Spirit's like, don't let the past hold you back. This person's in major depression or they want to put you in this. Okay, you also have family, friends that are jealous of you. You could be removing yourself from fake family and friends. You know, friends that are jealous at one point in time, they show their true colors. You're no longer entertaining these people because you know it's negatively stopping your growth. Five, five, five is here as well. You have major life changes that are on the way. It's time for you to embrace the new and let go of the old. Okay, I'm seeing this here too. Yeah, Earth Angels. Okay, yeah, somebody here, they got an STD. It's the reason why I pulled it out. They got a sexually transmitted disease or a demon. This is what they're trying to give to you or they, you have this. Okay, you also have fear. You will overcome this. If you do have this, you will overcome this or you're going to overcome somebody that is, has this and trying to give it to you or whatever they're trying to do in regards to keep you stuck with them. You're going to overcome it, okay? Somebody's trying to set you up with this too. I'm just being for real. So they could be trying to give you something that you may die with. Spirit is like, and if you continue to go with this person, spirit will allow this person to give you something, okay, so that you can learn the lesson, okay? Father God knows what you will and will, you know, what you will and will be able to take, okay? And what will change you and be able to transform you. And, and for someone here, it may get to that to that level. And I'm sorry if it does, but it's coming out, okay? Because you're dealing with someone who's a manipulative energy. You have to hear in the next 24 hours, something could be happening with L, first, middle, or last initial of yours or theirs. This person is envious and dangerous, and they are not God's gift, okay? They are not God's gift in your life. It could be a Sagittarius. You can have this in your birth chart. 
fake friends are around. It's time that you drop fake friends or this is what you could be doing. Or there's a Sagittarius that's dropping the fake friends that they have around. Okay, yeah. Know that you are never alone. Spirit just wants you to say yes to what God wants for you. That's it. Okay, this is part of your destiny. You have to go through this. You have to overcome this, okay? Or this is literally going to put you in alignment with your destiny to receive these blessings from the divine. So it's like, what do you want? Virgo, I almost called you Capricorn. Libra is significant too. Okay, what does Virgo need to know? But this is a part of your destiny, your calling, your mission, your higher self. Okay, yeah, you have your full moon energy. I know we just had a new moon. The moon ain't out. I be mixing up, you know, sometimes I stay full and it's the new moon. But we just had a new moon, so something could be happening around the full moon. Or something happened around the last full moon. There's a faded event that's getting ready to take place. And this is to put you on your spiritual awakening. On your spiritual journey. Okay? Pisces energy is here. Or you came in contact with this situation or this person. Or whoever this is. To put you on your spiritual journey. To awaken you to God. And your higher self. To get on your right path. But this person can't go on this path that you want to take them on. Spirit's like, no. Your angels and your ancestors are protecting you. So it's a choice. Are you going to choose this person with the devil's sense in your, to your life? Or are you going to choose what God wants? You're going to choose God. Okay? This is the choice. <laughs> it's the choice. But don't be mad at the people that chose what God wanted for them and they receiving blessings. Don't be mad at that. Okay? That's how you receive bad karma. Because somebody you're dealing with is nasty. They're a harlot. They're a whoremonger. They're a sleep around. They a Jezebel spirit if they a female. Okay? Or they a Pharisee spirit. Literally. The letter V could be significant. First, middle, or last initial, yours it is. Yeah, you got there. Somebody here, yeah, your plans are getting ready to work. Okay, and it's because your spirit guides have stepped in. Something could be happening over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, fake family members came out in the reverse. So you could be dropping fake family members at this time, but spirit wants you to be solo dolo. Okay, there's also someone, yeah, spirit wants you to be solo dolo right now. Someone's in too much ego and pride. I'm saying here, yeah, and they not winning. They're losing everything. Somebody here is not. You could be in too much ego and pride, not wanting to let something go. Okay, wow. The whole deck thing, so of course. <laughs> but I'm seeing here, yeah, it's time to let go of some type, some type of fake family members that's in your energy. Okay, something could be happening on Saturday or Sunday. But someone here, they're not receiving no type of new car, new home, none of that. There's no type of new blessings. That's coming in because winning came out in the reverse. I'm so sick of this. Okay, I'm about to end it. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to end it. Yeah, some type of energy is mad that it's being exposed. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, somebody also tried to send return to sender. And it ain't work, okay? Anything else for Virgo in this deck? Yeah, you have here. Somebody here is going through childhood trauma. You have here. And that's why they're experiencing losses. They could also be trying to send this your way. No love, no money. This is in your energy. No love, no money, no faith, job loss, homelessness. In the next 72 hours, somebody could be experiencing this. Okay, this could be you getting ready to experience this. Like, this could be part of the karma if you don't let something go. Okay, somebody here also, you know, they have a lot of lies and rumors that they're experiencing. Your ancestors are all around you. Please understand this as well. But just know that you don't just get bad karma for how you treat others. You get bad karma for how you treat yourself too. Of course you get bad karma for how you treat others because you're supposed to treat others like, like a child of God, like yourself. But you do receive bad karma for the way you treat yourself. Okay? Yeah. It's time that you keep loving the way that you do, Virgo. Okay? And don't join the dark side. Don't join the devil. Okay? You are a healer. I'm seeing here, and if you go back to this person, you will be emotionally hurt. Somebody will scar you. Spirit saying it's time to move away, okay? Or let this person move away, okay? Something, someone could be up at 4 a.m. as well, thinking about you or doing something in your energy at 4 a.m., which is why they're going through many challenges. You could be an influencer. This could be an influencer that's doing this, okay? Yeah, Empress, you just popped out. Okay, I'm happier without you. This person's really happier without you, or you could be happier without this person, or you're going to be. Okay, literally, this could be a Pisces, okay, that really doesn't even want a relationship. Okay, or Sagittarius, that's a mama's boy, okay, and that's full of deception. Or mama's girl, this person is still lying to you, to you, Virgo, okay? You also could be needing to burn sage, because you're connecting to an energy vampire that's getting readings done on you to figure out what's your next move. 
if you have a choice to make, okay, yeah. And they're also doing sex and love magic to get you to speak with them so that they can manifest off of you. So be mindful of this, Virgo. Okay, final message. This is also advice. Advice for Virgo. Advice for Virgo. Okay, yeah, you have here all of my emotions are part of my human experience. Because you're a spiritual being having a human experience. Don't ever forget that. And my soul is infinite and divine. Okay, and there's nothing on the bottom and there's nothing on the top. So that's the advice. I hope this resonated with you. A peace and blessings be to you always. And I will be seeing you on the next video.